when I was in my early 20s, I was in Tijuana, Mexico, traveling with a really good friend of mine. And I find myself at the immigration department about to enter the US with no passport. I'd forgotten my passport in San Diego. So back then, you can actually enter Mexico City using your driver's license. So I had left my passport at my aunt and uncle house, um, John and Leona. So I'm at immigration department, I'm panicking. So I find a payphone, I make a phone call to John, you know, come and get me, I'm in Tijuana, I have no passport. Knowing my luck, he wasn't home. So I had to leave a voicemail for him. Um, I had no choice, I look at my friend and I say, Tracy, you have to go to John's house, pick up my passport and ask him to deliver it to me here in Tijuana. She of course agrees and says, all right, but she wasn't going to leave me in Tijuana by myself. So we agreed that I'd go and find a somewhere quiet, somewhere safe for me to wait until she would go and get John and my passport. It was only about 30 minutes away from immigration. So she leaves me in this nice, quiet restaurant. It was perfect. Um, I go in, I dump my bags, I sit down, I feel really sorry for myself. I start contemplating what my options are. I look over and the guy behind the cashier kind of looks at me and starts shaking his head like he's seen this before. And um, all of a sudden the door opens and these group of men come in and I'm looking at them going, okay. okay. And then these women walk in and they're about my age and they disappear into the toilet. <laughs> and I'm thinking, okay, what's, what's going on? 30 minutes later, they come out and they're not wearing very much. I mean, they went into the bathroom fully dressed and they came out not wearing very much at all. And then the music started getting louder and the lights started getting dimmer. And I realized that I'm not in a restaurant at all. I'm actually in a brothel in Tijuana. So I'm sitting at the corner and I think to myself, hopefully nobody will notice that I'm here. Then this girl comes over to me. She starts speaking to me in Spanish. She's pointing at my bag. She's pointing at the toilet. And I look at her and I'm like, no hablo español. And she asks me, are you the new girl? <laughs> and I look at her and I'm like, um, no, I'm, I'm just here waiting for my uncle. And she said, I'm also waiting for my uncle. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. Behind her, there's a guy and he's wearing this beautiful suit, his hair slicked back and he's, you know, really handsome but at the same time really scary. He comes over, points at my bag, points at the toilet, starts speaking in Spanish and I'm like, no hablo español. And he looks at me and says, are you the new girl? <laughs> and I'm like, no, I'm not the new girl. I'm waiting for my family. I'm waiting for John. He looks at all the girls and says, all the girls here are waiting for their uncles or their cousins or their neighbor. He then tells me his name is Pablo. And if I wanted to stay in the restaurant, I had to work like the other girls. And I'm like, uh, I'm not doing that. And in my head, I'm thinking to myself, you know, if I leave, I may not meet John and I may not get my passport and I may never leave Tijuana, but if I stay, this man's probably going to chop me up into tiny little pieces and I'll never see my family again. So in a moment of absolute lunacy, I say to him, okay, I'll work, um, <laughs> but behind the bar. He looks at me and goes, okay, you go behind the bar now. So I get up, I go over to the bar, and the guy who was sort of shaking his head at me when I first walked in kind of looks at me in approval and motions for me to go and start washing dishes. So I go over to the sink, I start washing dishes, I start washing glasses, I start collecting glasses from the floor, then suddenly the door opens, and I see this silhouette of a man coming in, and I'm looking at him, and then I notice it's, it's John. We make eye contact, and he takes something out of his pocket and he shows me my passport. And I'm like, oh my God, I am so relieved. I run over to him. I throw my arms around him. Then Pablo comes over to us, <laughs> separates the two of us, looks at me and goes, Aki? And I'm like, it's John. It's my uncle. He looks at John, blonde hair, blue eyes, <laughs> looks at me and goes, not your uncle. Looks at John and says, she's not cheap. She's the new girl. <laughs>